Well, welcome to The Pathway for this week. In our weekend services, we had a guest, David Nasser, sharing his story with us. And I, somebody asked me afterwards, hey, what'd you think of that? I was like, you know, I laughed, I cried, I think I was inspired. It was just great to hear how God had led him through his life to go from hating God to loving Jesus and now sharing his story in so many different places. And one of the things that really hit me was how many different voices kind of had been in his life, in his family's life, that God was using to bring them all to that moment of putting their faith and their trust in him. And so this week, you know, as you're sitting with a group or a friend or your spouse and um, maybe talking over that service, especially if you're with your group, you know, feel free to spend some time on that and maybe share some of your own story. Because actually in the pathway this week, we're taking a break from 2 Kings, but not a break from the story. We're actually going to flip from 2 Kings 12 all the way over to 2 Chronicles 24. So even though there are several dozen pages in between those two, it's actually the same moment in time. Still thinking about King Joash and the different voices in his life, voices that God put in his life to help him and which voices he ultimately chose to listen to. So if you didn't know, 1st and 2nd Kings and 1st and 2nd Chronicles overlap a lot of the same history. And so you could look at this and say, if I already read about him repairing the temple, why would I read about it again? But part of what happens in those books is that they are put together sort of with a different purpose. Kind of like the way the four Gospels all talk about Jesus' life, but they might highlight different moments, different stories, different parts of those events. So where 2 Kings maybe tracks largely with the kings of Israel, 2 Chronicles puts more time onto someone like Joash from Judah, as well as more time onto some of the priestly things that are happening as it's making sure to carry those critical pieces of history forward. So when you turn to 2 Chronicles 24, you'll recognize some of the same details, but especially in the second half of the chapter, there's another surprising layer of what was going on in Joash's life that's going to be very applicable for us. So for now, I'm just going to give you that as a teaser for why you want to go read that chapter. And I'd encourage you to spend some time with some of the questions on the pathway as you think about David's story, as you think about Joash's story, and as you think about the voices in your own life and which ones God might be using to help draw you closer to him. And I'll leave it there for now. Can I pray for you? Lord, I know that there are a lot of voices in my life too and that sometimes it is easy to listen to the wrong ones, either because I'm discouraged or distracted or tempted or whatever it may be. So I'm honestly just asking you for myself today, Lord, and for my friends who are watching this, would you help us by your spirit to hear your voice the loudest, to follow your lead and to love you because you first loved us. And I will ask that in Jesus' name. Amen.